have been sanctified in him. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 11. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 30, But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. A, a very interesting truth here presented to us in Scripture about what God has already done for us in Christ is that we have been sanctified in Him. In 1 Corinthians 6, Paul, writing to the Corinthians in the preceding verses, he highlights, you know, the, the mess that they came out of. He says some of them are adulterers and murderers and thieves and covetous and all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, a sinful past that they came out of. And then he says in verse 11, but those such were some, some of you were like this. He says, but now you've been washed, you were sanctified. That means God has done a sanctifying work for you and for me in Christ Jesus. The word sanctify means to set apart unto God. It means to make holy. God has set us apart from Him. He's made us holy. So in Christ, we have been sanctified. We've been set apart for God. We are holy. And as it says in 1 Corinthians 1, 30, Christ is our sanctification. That means in Christ, we've been sanctified. Sanctification has happened in Christ. So this is spiritual reality. We must understand something about how God works. God completes the work in the realm of the spirit and then he tells you and me to live out of that in the realm of the natural. That means something has already taken place in the spiritual realm. It's already done and then he says now you want to, I want you to walk in it. I want you to walk in that completed work uh, as though it was real. Make it real in your everyday life. So we are sanctified. We have already been sanctified in Christ. We've already been made holy. We've already been set apart for God. And now we live out of that. And so in our everyday life, we set ourselves apart for God because we have been sanctified. So in the natural world, sanctification happens as a process. We are being sanctified. We are being changed. Uh, uh, we are we are setting ourselves apart day to day. We are setting ourselves apart, being holy in the natural uh, because it has already been something God has done for us in Christ. So you see yourself as somebody totally set apart for God. Every part of your being belongs to God. Every part of your being has been made holy and set apart for God. And now in everyday life, that's the choices you make. You make choices that set you apart from God. You make choices that are holy before God. That's living out the sanctification that has already taken place in Christ. In Him, you are sanctified. You are holy. You are set apart for God. And you live that life out every day in daily, daily life. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that we are sanctified. We've been set apart for you. Our spirit, soul, and body is yours. And we pray that we will live out of that spiritual truth, that God, we will walk sanctified in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.